Bunny, 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 bunny. It's time once again for us to shit on someone. Okay, cool. Who are we shitting on? Well, hold on, and let's do let's do some background here. Our show has a history of shitting on various people. Yes, we shat on my brother Joe. We shat on Deanna. Deanna, for some reason that I don't remember. It's Tim Curry. Oh, Tim. Yes, because of Tim Curry, you didn't like Tim Curry and it. Yeah, that was justified. And we have shit on various yeah. celebrities. My favorite being Eminem because he is a garbage person. Yes. Fuck Eminem. Uh, say, oh, I think, I think of the, I think the thing, the reason why Eminem is still popular is because, like, oh, hey, this is the thing I liked as a child. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, well, guess what? Now you're an adult, and you should take a harder look at Eminem. He hates women. He hates gays. He's full of toxic masculinity. He wrote an entire song about killing his ex-wife. This is a this is a someone who should not be allowed to still be a celebrity. Fuck Eminem. And now, Bunny, you and I will once again be shitting on someone. Now you don't know who I am going to mention. Okay. Right now, I what I'm trying to say is you don't know who I've picked for us to shit on. You don't know who I'm about to say. You don't know what's coming up. But once I mention this person's name, it should not be a problem for you to shit on this person. This person is easy to hate and easy to shit on. Okay. Okay. Are you ready, buddy? Yes. Okay. This week we will be shitting on the king of overrated movies, Mr. James Cameron. Yeah, James Cameron, he started off with such promise, but then he's turned into a real dick. Uh, in particular, what, what pisses me off about James Cameron is his idea that you cannot be an environmentalist unless you're a vegan. Fuck you. Just fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. So I have some James Cameron news and that news will make James Cameron a complete asshole. But just to be clear, the man is already such a loudmouth dick polarizing figure that even without the news I'm about to say, it still is pretty easy to shit on James fucking Cameron. Yeah, I'm halfway there already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the man's a dick. He treats his actors like shit. He thinks the sun shines out of his fucking ass. And the fact that... And also there's the fact that right now he's working on Avatar 2 through 5. Yeah. Like, like, fuck James Cameron. So with all of that on deck, here's the news. So James Cameron was being interviewed by IndieWire recently, a few days ago. And in that interview, James Cameron, director James Cameron, said, and I quote, I'm hoping we're going to start getting Avengers fatigue. There are other stories to tell besides hypogonadal males without families doing death-defying things for two hours and wrecking cities in the progress. Yeah, yeah. We, we could be doing unpopular, expensive movies with blue people. Yeah, that's what we could be doing. Yeah. You know, I mean, see, I mean, James Cameron is Once good, again, but he's not fucking great. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to run through through that again. I'm hoping we're going to start getting Avengers fatigue. There are other stories to tell besides hypogonadal males without families doing death-defying things for two hours and wrecking cities in the progress. Now, there's a lot to unpack there. First off, I don't think the man who wrote and directed Piranha Part 2, The Spawning, should be throwing fucking shade. No, neither do I. Neither do I. Yeah. In fact, in fact, James Cameron is such a dick that oftentimes in the past he has tried to say that his first film was The Terminator. No, fuck you. <laughs> Don't you dare try and bury Piranha Part 2 The Spawning where mm -hmm. the piranhas are flying in the air. No. And let's face facts, man. 
Terminator 2 is a B movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's always been a B movie. Yeah. It's it's a schlocky, fun little movie. You're not a fucking genius, James Cameron. You're not a genius. Yeah. Go Secondly, go go have a cup of coffee with M. Night Shyamalan and get back yeah. to us when your head is deflated. Yeah. Secondly, he says there are other stories to tell. There are other stories to tell, says the man who is busy working on Avatar 2, Avatar 3, Avatar 4, and yeah. Avatar 5. Hey, yeah. James Cameron, there are other stories to tell besides dances with Smurfs, you fucking jackass. Yeah, and instead of shitting on other people's parades, how about you tell another story? How about that? How about yeah. that? Yeah. You know, I mean, like, you're not powerless here. You're a filmmaker. You, you can literally go and tell another story. Yeah. Thirdly, hypogonadal, I had to look that up, hypogonadal refers to diminished gonad function. Wow, Mr. Cameron, someone's still using their 2018 word-a-day calendar. <laughs> I had to find a, an intellectual-sounding way to say that they're overcompensating for their small genitals. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's basically using elementary-style... Um, Comebacks, yeah, right, and insults, but in, but in, in a more adult language, yeah. So Shakespearing it. Fourthly, uh, Hawkeye has a wife and kids. Scott Lang has a niece that he takes care of. Peter Parker still lives with his aunt. There's families that exist in fucking comic books. Just because yeah. you can't think of any doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Fifthly, fifthly. It seems that James Cameron has a history of hating big budget blockbusters that aren't his big budget blockbusters. <laughs> yeah. He said that Star Wars The Force Awakens, quote, lacked visual imagination. This coming from the guy who made blue aliens that fuck through their hair braids. <laughs> he also called Wonder Woman, quote, a step backwards. A step backwards. Okay. Yeah. How did he, he justify also, that? He also hates the Alien franchise after him, saying he doesn't think the world needs more Alien films. He hated all the Terminator movies he didn't do. Basically, James Cameron hates any big film that is a success that he didn't have a hand in. I'm surprised that he allowed Get Out to happen without opening his big fat fucking mouth. I imagine I imagine that Get Out is super popular and he's in his mansion biting his knuckles struggling not to say something racist like Roger Rabbit with shave and a haircut. <laughs> Just sitting there struggling not to say something racist. So fuck James Cameron. The man is a horrible douchebag. Fun story. James Cameron was married three times and he's currently married to successful female director Kathleen, Catherine Bigelow. Yeah. And in 2010, they were both up for best director. She won. And then later that night after the Oscars, James Cameron was photographed playfully pretending to strangle her to death. <laughs> Killing women is hilarious. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. So fuck James Cameron. Fuck him hard. Yeah. That is a public service announcement from no, I mean, Reverend Steve and the Pope on Film Podcast. 